Hello everyone, I'm Dan Henry and I'm a customer success technical architect here at MuleSoft. In this Friends of Max video series, I'm going to be talking to you about AnyPoint API Community Manager, which provides a next-gen developer experience to help you build and grow API ecosystems. Today, we're going to guide you through the process for using sandboxes to both test new features you've developed and also test API Community Manager version updates before applying it to your production org. Let's get started. So before we jump into the demonstration, let's clarify what sandboxes are and why they're important for your API community. What we know for sure is that sandboxes deliver real business benefits. This is because when you create a separate environment for development, testing, and training, you enable more stability for your active organization, shorten cycle times for testing and trials, and a realistic training environment for onboarding new community builders, community administrators, and community managers. What this results in is reduced operational risk because you're minimizing disruptions to production community and its operations. We also ensure API community manager updates are tested rigorously in pre-production environments before applying them to our production community. We get raised productivity as community builders spend less time working around constraints of your production community. Moreover, our community administrators and community managers can be trained in a real world environment and then transition seamlessly to working in a production community. We increase efficiency as tests and trials of new release features and configuration changes can be seamlessly handed off to QA and then to the production community. And finally, better community quality, fewer disruptions and training leads to more satisfied guests, community members, community administrators and community managers within our community. Let's talk about the different types of sandboxes you can use. Each API Community Manager org comes with four types of sandbox. Developer, Developer Pro, Partial Copy, and Full Copy. We'll explain in the next slide when each should be used. What's important to know is what each type of sandbox provides. Developer has a one-day refresh, no production data, and 200 megabytes of storage. Developer Pro has a one day refresh as well, no production data, but one gigabyte of storage. Partial Copy has a five day refresh, it samples production data, and it has five gigabytes of storage. And Full Copy has a 29 day refresh, it copies production data, and it has production size storage. So let's look at when we use each type of sandbox. Now if we were to apply an update to ACM, we would use a developer sandbox for the initial test of the update process, going through any of the pre or post install steps, should there be any. For QA test, we'd use a partial copy sandbox so that we can do our QA or any UAT testing. And for staging, we'd use a full copy sandbox. Obviously for release, we'd use the production community. Now when we're using sandboxes for development, we would start off for develop and test using the developer sandbox. And this is great for developers and administrators to run through potential setup changes and review the impact. For build release, we'd use a developer pro sandbox, which has the same characteristics as a developer sandbox, but with more storage for testing against a subset of records, should you have a component which needs to reach out to data. For QA test, we use a partial copy sandbox, and this is a more agile solution than full copies to test specific application areas with selected sample data sets from production. For staging, we'd use a full copy sandbox, and this is the only sandbox we'll use for performance testing, load testing, and staging. And finally, we'd apply our new development to the production community for release. So we'll start here in ACM Administrator in our API Community Manager org. And the first place that we need to go 
is to set up. So we click on the cog in the top right corner of the screen and click set up. In the quick find, we're going to type in sandboxes. And this is where we can see any existing sandboxes we have and also the number of licenses we have available for each type of sandbox. So you can see there developer, developer pro, partial copy and full. You may see different number of licenses available depending on your org. You can see here that I have a sandbox already set up called LTQA, LT standing for London Technologist and then in QA being this is a partial copy but we're going to create a new sandbox. So I'm going to call it SB Demo. I'm going to create it from the production org and I'm going to choose developer. So click next. We can skip this step and click create. So now your sandbox is going to go into a queue to be provisioned. This can take a few minutes, it can take a few hours depending on where it is in the queue and also what type of sandbox you're trying to create. For example, if you're trying to create a partial copy or full, you're going to be transferring more data to this sandbox so it can take some more time. You can click refresh once this is done and we can log in. So after we've refreshed, we're now going to see that the sandbox has login next to it. So we'll click on this. And what's important to note here is you'll see your same username that you normally use to log into your API Community Manager org, but there will be a suffix with the name of the sandbox. So SB Demo here, you can see that SB Demo. We're going to use the same password for that user that we use in the production org. So I'll just get those details. Now the first thing to note is in your sandbox, you're going to get this banner here and it's going to say SB Demo, which is the name of the sandbox and of course the prefix of sandbox. But it should work exactly like your normal production org. We don't have any community APIs, but you can see these APIs being uh, fed through from Exchange. The next thing to do once you're in a sandbox is to head over to API Community Manager Diagnostics just to make sure that everything is still in order. Diagnostics is available in version 1.77 and onwards. So we can start going through here. We can see all green ticks. So there we go. We've created a sandbox for us to now do our development work or test an update. Thanks again for watching this Friends of Max demonstration. Feel free to leave a comment, check out the links below the video, or have a watch of our other Friends of Max videos too. I look forward to seeing you again soon.